Hello and welcome back to LiveNowBroadcasting.com. We are still here at NAB 2019 Broadcasting Live right from the show floor. So first place you'll get to see any of these cool new products. And speaking of cool new products, I'm here with Will Africano from Narbox. Now, is it Narbox or Gnarbox? It's, Nar it's Narbox, yeah. It, it's Nar Before we get into the product, where does that name come from? Well, we actually started as a community of on online and Instagram a long time ago, five years ago. Uh, and we were all action sports, adventure photographers and videographers, um, uh, filmmakers. And, and we actually identified a problem in our workflow, which is that we always had to bring laptops with us in order to manage backups um, and to view our files. Just as we were traveling, maybe the trip took us to the Himalayas, the shoot took us um, these different places that we would all love to go. But we I mean, get to go I'm going to stop here. Just on, on behalf of video videographers everywhere, guys like you who like shoot action sports up in the Himalayas, while guys like me are standing up in corporate America in a convention center with really crappy carpet. I got to tell you, I mean, I, we look at those videos and they're they're awesome, but you guys are out in super remote areas. Exactly. That's got to cause some issues. Yeah, it causes issues, especially in, in harsh environments, hard weather, and when you have to carry everything on your back, this is something we can all relate to, if you have to carry all of your gear on your back, it weighs you down over time, right? And if that gear includes a couple pounds just for a laptop and some drives, why not consolidate that? So that's why we made this, this Narbox, which is just a, a gnarly, rugged device. So it actually is a box, and you're yeah. holding this box. This is it. This it's, is it. it's about the size of your phone. It's about the size of my phone, it, yep. Pretty much straight up with that one, and it's uh, you know a little bit thicker, but uh, it weighs less than a pound. Uh, it does fit in my pocket, which is really nice, and it's fully waterproof, ruggedized, dustproof, dropproof, and um, can sustain some pretty harsh environments. And when you actually what it does is it has USB-C, it has SD ports, and you can plug those SD cards in or any card reader, and it'll offload those cards um, instantly here on the box. So, I so it's got a hard drive inside there? Yeah, it has solid state up to a terabyte. Um, so we can get 512 or, or a terabyte, and you can expand any storage you want with. Uh, the, the other USB-Cs, they can be used for your two terabytes, four terabytes, what other drives you want to bring with you for additional storage capacities. So instead of, you know, I got my card, I got to get out my laptop, find the little card reader, because of yep. course none of them have card readers anymore. Thank you, Apple. And uh, so you plug the card reader in, plug a, your SD card in. You know, if it's a, a, a portable machine, you might not have that much room on your drive, so you got to plug your portable drive in and then hope that it copies over while that's all out and it's all battery powered, yep. this does it automatically. Yep, and it has a removable battery system so you can bring as many batteries as you want. It charges off of any USB uh, portable battery bank you could have with you and it'll just power straight off that, so. Does it copy all the files or what, what does it recognize specific media files? Well, you have two options. Um, by default, what it will do is, um, oh, back up a second. It copies Back up a second, Craig. Yeah. Craig, back up a sec. No, no, go ahead. It, it, it backs up all file types, if that was the, the initial question. It doesn't matter what you plug in. You can back up anything. Like, like, yeah, anything. I about to say, let's assume that you've got Excel spreadsheets yeah, on there. Can, can For our corporate file. viewers who are watching, you know, they want to back up their Excel files in the field. Right. It will back that up, too. Yep, you can back up your Excel files, too. Yeah, okay. yeah. And, but you were saying it has two modes. Yeah, so the modes are, you can actually plug it in, it'll back up everything that's on your card, even if you already backed it up once. It'll back it up, build redundant copies if you want especially if you want to send it to multiple locations. You can also set it up where I can plug it in, back up some files, I can plug it back into my camera, continue shooting, and then back it up again, and it'll only take the new files that I shot. Um, so those are the two different modes. So it's a smarter copy or, or just a, a straight dump every time. What I like about that is that uh, I'm one of those guys that believes that a file doesn't exist until it exists in at least two places. Yes. So I could take something out of my camera, offload it to the drive, but then I don't have to format my card. I can put the card back in the camera knowing that when I put it back in, it's not going to make multiple copies if I don't want it to. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, I mean, that's, that I think is super important for everyone. In fact, I might want to have two NAR boxes, so then I've got three copies of it. How automatic is it? Is it you just, you know, put the card in, go get a sandwich? Oh, so you plug it in and you hit one button and then it's going to run that backup. So right now you can see it's actually making progress. It's going to instantly run a checksum, MD5 checksum verification at the end to make sure all the bytes are there and give you a little extra security. Fantastic. Then what happens when you get back home and you want to offload stuff? Can you edit right on the drive or, or what do you do? 
So you could edit off of this. It's you know it's got a USB-C port that's operating uh, USB 3.1 Gen 1, and um, you plug this as D USB-C into your computer, then all the files and folders that you backed up are going to be there. Um, the beauty of this device, though, is that it, you can wirelessly connect in from a phone or a tablet and actually view those files in the field, allowing you to actually organize and move files around into different folders. So I can. Uh, actually get my organization done before I plug it into my computer. Um, I can also pre-program my backups to have auto organization by date or file extension, remove folder structures, and do all sorts of different uh, customizations so that you can just be hitting a button all day and when you plug it in your computer everything's exactly how you'd want it organized at the end of the day. Any kind of uh, cloud backup service or anything like that? So you can uh, wire, you can connect this into a local Wi-Fi. It has a dual band Wi-Fi on it and um, It'll back up right now to Dropbox and um, soon to be Frame.io as another location that you could back up to. So you're out on the slopes or in the surf or under the water all day shooting stuff, going back in, backing stuff up. When you're done, you get up, you head to Starbucks, it connects to the Starbucks Wi-Fi and takes your existing backup, which is already a backup of your card, and backs that up to uh, cloud service as well. Exactly, yeah. And you could do selects as well if you're trying to just work with an offline editor, for example, and get some part of your of your of your day's footage uh, up or the whole dailies. You could do that as well. You could also just send proxies. So if you didn't want to send you know a terabyte of footage into the cloud because that'd take a long time on a Starbucks Wi-Fi, um, you can transcode proxies and generate smaller files, smaller bitrate files that you can sync up later uh, in post. Well, Will Africano, I think I speak for a lot of videographers out there who say we hate you for that lifestyle with your cool beards and your, you know, caps that I am sure you occasionally wear backwards. And uh, but it does seem like a really cool product. Where can people find out more about it? Uh, Narbox.com is the best place to find out more. You can live chat with any of our customer support reps and ask all the questions you want. Narbox.com, and that's all the time we have for in this segment here. But we'll be back with another interview in just a few minutes. So please stay with us here on Live Now.